Uh, first off, congratulations on the film. Thank you. It's nice for starting. You got a big smile on your face. Yeah. I like that. That's cool. Um, I saw uh, an interview you, you gave a, a few months back. I think it must have been at South by Southwest, where you described Chris as a mad scientist, mm -hmm. uh, and I thought that was quite apt for him. So, what was it like being in? his world, because even though he's a mad scientist, he gets a lot of good results at the end of well, it. Well, I mean, that's why it's so, uh, it's, he is a mad scientist, because he, he finds any and every way to get that result, you know what I mean? It was, the process was very alive. Um, and I think when we, were, when we were filming, there was one day in which he decided that he was going to rewrite a scene. So PA comes into my trailer during lunch, hands me a script and it's like, that's the script uh, for this afternoon. I go, but the, for tomorrow you mean? He goes, no, for this afternoon. Uh, Chris rewrote the scene. And I was like, oh, okay, great. Um, so he, he, he was always, his wires are always going and he's always thinking of the best way to tell the story. Yeah. And what was it for you? I mean, this is your first movie or one of your first yes. movies? I mean, what attracted you to, to Moses in this, this story? Because it's, it's very out there, but also very contemporary. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of, lot of questions mm -hmm. asked about, you know, the current state of economics and politics and all that kind of stuff. So what was it that drew you in specifically? Um, for me, it was, I didn't get the script until after I got the job. Uh, but I think my first response to Moses was, the fact that he was like the ultimate optimist. He like didn't know failure. And um, that was really exciting in a time, when, in, in, in this day and age, especially in America. Um, so I think it was his optimism and the fact that he just like, he, he like wanted to, he's going against the system and he's trying. I mean, he doesn't even know he's going against the system. Uh, and he's doing it. Yeah. I mean, it's, it, it is a, a crazy story, but a lot of it is very, as I say, contemporary, but there's a lot of kind of stuff in there that you think, actually, this could, it's so silly that it actually could could happen. I mm -hmm. mean, was that something that when you eventually saw the script and it kind of unfolded that you, you had to take a step back and think, this, this isn't too far from what could be the truth somewhere in the world? Well, it is. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there, there are, of course, there's some completions and some artistic, like, license and liberty that Chris took, but, like, it... It, it isn't as outrageous as you think it is. Like these tactics and um, these people that the FBI target, it's like, it's real. And they find the most vulnerable the people to do it. There's a, there's a fantastic, as you, I think you alluded to just then about the, the script being quite loose, that there was a lot of improvisation. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that a tough thing to, to do or do you find that quite easy? Because I can imagine it, you have to keep on your toes, particularly with someone like Chris at the helm. Yeah, I mean, it's tough at times and it's easy at others. You know, there are actors who make it easier. K Van is one of those people who make it easier because he forces you to like, he forces you to want to do it. You know what I mean? To like find something to sort of like stay um, fresh and in it. Uh, it's nerve wracking also, <laughs> especially when it's your first job. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, also he attracts so many great talent. I mean, obviously Anna Kendrick is the, mm -hmm. is, is the name, I guess, out of everybody, but there's such, a, down the cast list, particularly with your group of guys, I mean, that must've been so much fun because you look like you're having such a oh, great time Oh, we had a together. blast. I mean, everybody, Jim Gaff again, Dennis O'Hare, yeah. like, I mean, there are even people who were in this, who were in the film that you don't see on screen because scenes were cut, of course, like Rupert Friend. Um, wow. Yeah, didn't, didn't even know. Didn't even yeah. know. There you go. <laughs> uh, but like, who I love. Um, so yeah, it was a great. It was a great cast. Yeah, it's a great cast. Yeah, and just finally, I mean, what are you hoping audiences kind of take away from this movie? Because it is, it is on one side kind of a comedy, but also, as we said before, it has a lot of lot of questions raised. Yeah, from it. you know what I said earlier is that uh, I I think um, it's not as outrageous as one would think it is and that these things actually happen and it's real and uh, that it might be easier to manufacture your own terrorist than it is to find a real one.